For several years now, charcoal has remained a favorite cooking fuel for many households in the country. This has also come with its dangerous uh, effects, such as air pollution. But as a reporter in Nakuru County, Kamche Manza found out, students of Kabrak University could have just found a solution to this. In the efforts to secure the environment and create employment, these students delved into the energy sector to provide an alternative source of cheap energy. This they did by making charcoal using cow dung and maize cobs, a product they named cocob. This is the first stage where the maize cobs are partially burnt, then ground before mixing with wet cow dung. Misogoro na na samadi ama kinyesi changombe, hiyo ni biofuel. The balls are made from the mixture and spread on a sack and are shared for a period of one week. They say this period is long enough to allow the balls to completely dry, hence reducing the chances of producing smoke. But if you burn the maize cobs alone, they'll produce smoke. So what about if we roasted the maize cobs a bit and mix with the cow dung? So the experiment was done and it proved to be okay. And this is the end product ready to be used and to confirm to us that it works the students lit a jiko burner and boiled some water with it this project started four months ago and has so far employed 20 people in this area with mostly positive feedback from buyers francis kipto is one of the beneficiaries of this project and he says he has already involved his neighbors into making the cocobs for sale na iko kwa mbaya kwa maana gunia moja ilikuwa inatoka shilingi 400. Sasa ukiangalia tumezungusha hata hapa Mogotyo wengi wameanza kujua sasa. With Kenya's water catchment areas remaining at risk with such activities as charcoal burning, this venture by the students if well harnessed can proceed to save the country a great deal. The project has since seen the students emerge the Enactus Kenya 2013 national champion in the National Business and Entrepreneurship Competition. They will proceed to Mexico in September this year to battle with other universities from 37 countries worldwide. Kamchemenza for KTN Business Today.